have a lot of people coming up to me and asking me, Tony, how big should my take back be? How big should the swing be back here? And I'm going to answer that for you guys. When you're behind the baseline, you can have a much bigger take back than when you're up close inside no man's land or a pro shot or even in front of the service line. Back here, again, with the big take back, you're going to generate a lot of momentum and power just by being so far away from your contact point, which is okay, it's totally okay. But the closer we are to the net, the shorter my take back has to be. Let's say I'm over here where the opponent draws me in, it's a lower shot. If I have a big take back, then this ball is going to be sailing long. There's too much force and momentum leading up to the point of impact. It's going to, it's going to go really long. So we're going to shorten up our take back and use the same amount of force with our hips, stepping in, swing speed, everything. The difference is, it stays in. Okay, this is wrong, this is too big when we come up here. Too big. All right. Shorten it up. Same swing speed, same power, same everything. But remember, the closer you are to the net, the shorter your take back has to be. Thanks, guys.